ceramics clay is the primary material. The primary medium material, it's not drawing. It's not representation. The primary creative creation, the primary materials are the materials that create, not the materials that recreate. Not representation, but presentation. You take a block of clay and you squeeze it and you get something. You don't get a representation of something. You get reality. Um, you create I, reality. I owe so much to Halleck. Halleck Brennan. It's not that there's anything wrong Reed. with representation. Representation Reed. is great. Read. But the create primary creative over. act is to create. Do it again. Not recreate. Respond. And it's hard to make a case React. for clay over wood Religion. or all sorts of other things. Recreate. But clay is primary. Represent. It has other characteristics about it, it that make it special in human history. Act. Clay is spawn. First materials Rigid. that we were able to present, control, to change, to chemically change, to physically change. So substantively, it starts as this gooey, squeezy These stuff. These are the primary it human until activities. It's hard till it won't. You put me in with front. water till it's impervious, till it's permanent. And it's a secondary human. It's a secondary uh, activity. It's not primary. Act. Create. Spots. The earliest paintings Spawn. are really ceramics. Present. People took earth, earth pigments, mixed them with a little fish oil or whatever, or mud, whatever they could find, and well, smeared them on the cave when walls. You Not only are the cave walls ceramics, but what they painted on them is ceramics. Those are not primary. Those drawings in Lascaux, they're secondary. They're representation, not presentation. They are recreations. Why work not after the fact when you can be the fact? Act or react? Spond? or respond. If you just sponsor in the first place, you draw you never have on to say, something. I am responsible. It is complex. Requires two materials. The material you draw with and the material you draw on. Create. You can create clay. And there's a relationship. I mean, charcoal, and if you want to see charcoal in a very similar manner, charcoal is a primary material, but drawings aren't. Drawings are secondary. Charcoal is one of these things you make. You can find charcoal. It's everywhere. But you also make charcoal. Fire is so deep down in our history, and charcoal is what ties drawing to ceramics. Fire. Create. Act. Spots. Spawn. Glue. We talk about creativity. 
Okay, you got a chair. And it's hard to deny when you're making the chair. Do you reglue it? Creation, but really, primarily, you don't reglue it until it's falling apart. If you do a good enough job, if you really glue so it, you never have to reglue it. And if you want to put it in that same sort of art, Lidden, craft midget, context, where one is subservient and the other one is uh, dominant, well, then. If you spawn, painting should in the go into recreative place, studies. You don't have to because respond. it's certainly not as serious as the act of creation. If you are, it's the act of recreation. In the it's first recreative. place, recreative. You don't not have creative. to be responsible. So why recreate when you can create? Why? Forego presentation for representation. And if the Medicis had gotten that into their mind, then play. Art school would start out with three or four creative classes. Primary material. And we'd have one or two semesters of recreative classes. Of representation. Representation would be a small subset instead of it being a dominant part. Clay, the primary material. It is hard Read. to get across that art is a part of everything the root that we of do. all four letter words. When we our whole mindset is that art is about recreation and not responsible. Creation. Recreate. And it's a distortion. Represent. An unnecessary distortion to think that recreation Research. is. Research. Play. You take it, you squeeze it, you've made it. Why re? It's there. Just it's real. Search. You present it. You don't just re present. Act. Spawn. Create it. You don't recreate. Create. It. Glue. It is primary to create. Okay, that works better. Okay, hierarchy. <coughs> hierarchy. Hierarchy is bull. Is bull. Hierarchies are figments. It is no more valid. They are to say figments. that ceramics is a primary on figments. material medium genre than to say that drawing is a primary genre. There is no more reason for one than the other. It's very easy to turn figments hierarchies on, on figments. their heads. One, two, three, hierarchies four, five, four. six, seven. All you got to do is insert hierarchies a minus sign, and then you have to figure out which one is in down. reality. Hierarchies make them fractions. One over inside one, one over two, our one over heads. three. It doesn't matter hierarchies. what the hierarchy is. They are Mara. They are illusion. Are not they external exist to only us. Only because of the particular mindset we have. We impose hierarchies. Hierarchy is created by the frame set onto our conception of reality. That we impose on a non-hierarchical reality. Hierarchies don't exist out there. They exist in here. The blinders we wear, the idea, the hierarchies we perceive, 
that drawing is the critical skill in the arts is clearly hogwash. Drawing is the critical critical skill. That idea is a manifestation <coughs> of grasping. It is an imposition, well it might be, if you're a drawer, of some people's, I kind of doubt, limited concept of the entirety of reality. Maybe thought is the critical skill if you're a drawer. It is no more Maybe heart accurate. is the critical skill. To say that ceramics Maybe is motivation critical. is the critical the skill. critical skill. Everybody must intent know it. Then artist's say intent. That Maybe that's is. critical. Or painting. Intention. Maybe it's tension. Or sewing. Maybe we don't need to intend anything but just tend it. Wow. Or even silver point. These are equally invalid. Hierarchies are created ideas. by the way we look at reality. Absolute truth is an absolute fallacy. They are illusion. The only absolute they are truth there seems to be is the entire of reality. The entire of our the entirety of reality, whatever that is. Understanding and even then of reality, can we be sure that there is just one reality? Illusion. Hierarchical thinking requires we you do take not see reality as it is. Scale. We see a limited and spectrum. Apply it. We hear a limited range to of complex noises. reality. We have a limited has sense no single of scale smell that has no single viewpoint that can be flipped on its head. Our sense it can be looked at from 90 degrees away or overhead or in a different spectrum. To find. Our eyes fool us into believing that we can see individual color. when in fact they are huge averaging instruments. What they tell us, we are hierarchies, seeing, doesn't exist. Reside within our heads. They are figments that we impose on our conceptions. They are figments on figments. Ghosts. Illusion. Maya.
they all become chicken and egg arguments. I mean, which came first, which is most important? Where's the separation? Chicken and egg arguments. And admittedly, that's what I'm making is chicken and egg arguments. Consequently, without understanding the other side of the argument, you don't understand the argument at all. Und est ward licht, and there was light. The separation, the ultimate in dualistic thought. There was nothing, and then there was something. Nothing, something. Then, now. Zip. The Barnett Newman, the line straight down the paper, the drawing event. Light and dark. Creation. There was nothing, now there's something. It wasn't there, now it is. Is not as powerful a concept as transformation. It was something, now it's something else. The subtlety is the power.